Right. Coaches, I guess your thoughts on your side of the ball today? Uh, I think sloppy. You know, I mean, the guys played hard, I thought, but got a little sloppy. First time you play live football, obviously tackling's number one. And then uh, just, just you get any type of tempo situation. Two minute, um, uh, just some of the tempo of the offense showed us. It starts exposing flaws in communication and, and things like that. So uh, until you watch it, you don't have a complete understanding of what goes on because you're just trying to call it. But a lot of things are correct, I'm sure. I asked Coach Arnett about this earlier this week, but <clears throat> up front, you got a lot of veterans that are pretty much Obviously, they're going to compete for their spot, but you got a lot of veterans back, returning starters. But big shoes to fill with Tyrus Weed. It's a pretty good battle between you got John and JP Purvis, Purvis pushing each other pretty well at that Sam backer position. What have you seen from those guys? Exactly what you just said. Uh, it's a pretty good competition, and they kind of battle day by day. You know, really period by period, we kind of rotate them. Or today, like series by series, you know, and uh, they both have their strengths, they both have their weaknesses, and it's all about. Uh, you know, making sure you maximize what you do well and, and limit what you don't. And and so, but those guys, uh, we're going to need them both. You know, we're going to need them both throughout the season. So the fact of the matter is they got to push each other, be great teammates, but also be great competitors and help our program win. What's some of your impressions of the size first so far in the spring? And kind of what do you think will it bring to the defense? You know, kind of getting a better, bigger role? Right, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's a guy that's worked for a long time for an opportunity to, to be in the position he's in, you know, and, and, uh, so really, it comes out. It comes down to him taking advantage of it. And I think, I think Ferg comes out every day locked in. I think Ferg loves to play football. I think Ferg loves to compete, and that's what you love about it. You know what I mean? And now it just comes down to be able to make the plays when you're in those situations. You got to replace all three starters as safety. Any guys catching your attention back there? Uh, Speedy Banks has done a nice job transitioning there. Uh, Corey Ellington is a, is a guy that needs to to step up and play well for us, and he's had he's had good days and has bad has had some bad days too. Uh, but he knows that, you know, guy comes in here, works every single day. Um, and then, you know, the other thing is you got a guy like Sean Preston who's played a lot of football for us in a lot of SEC games. And uh, what I told Sean when he said he was coming back was uh, you're coming back and you better be on a mission to lead, not just, uh, you know, yourself, and, but also guys around you and, and try to be a leader the best way you can. And uh, and then the, the other guy that's kind of flashed, I thought he flashed today is why, why it comes to my mind, is Kobe Albert. You know, he comes down and runs the alley a couple times. He's done it in practice when we've been thud tempo. Today it was live, obviously. He came, he came down and set a pretty good uh, example of how you're supposed to run the alley. Anything else? Easy. All right.